Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick multitasking test here between the uh, OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 3T. I just wanted to see if there's any value having 8 gigs of RAM uh, in the latest flagship from OnePlus uh, to see you know, if it uh, benefits the experience or not. Uh, some people have been saying it's quite pointless, uh, so I wanted to test that. So I'm going to start them both up at the same time and see uh, we're going to open up a few heavy games and see the multitasking performance uh, i'm not going to bother with basic apps so you can see the 3t is only just behind the oneplus 5 in terms of the boot up a testament to how well you know where uh, the device still performs today. Uh, I don't think it's running the most up-to-date version of uh, Oxygen OS. You can see we do have the slidey uh, thing here on the uh, OnePlus 5. Uh, but I have uh, installed a few games on both of them as you can see and I wanted to open up at the uh, you know same time, see how quick they are going into them and then we're going to see the multitasking so this is an 8 gig ram uh, model as well of the the uh, oneplus 5 and as you can see i do use on on screen buttons because it's just easier for me, you know. You have so when you ha get so many phones, it's quite hard to remember which side is which when you want to go back or forward. So it just makes it that bit easier. And you can see here with the rolling grass. Uh, the OnePlus 5 is marginally ahead when it comes to loading the game. I don't think the uh, processor in the OnePlus 5 is a massive step up compared to the Snapdragon 821 which you can see is still very uh, potent but then again it is uh, you know a bit better if we're going to be honest uh, I think the display is a little bit brighter on the OnePlus 5 here So we'll just uh, get the three T to catch up here. Yeah, so it's a little bit brighter on the uh, OnePlus 5, but I think they're using pretty much the same panel, so it's... Uh, quite weird some people have been reporting some sort of jello effect as well when scrolling so we can check that out as well at the end of the video so you can see in terms of the opening uh, the five is only just really ahead here not a massive motivation to upgrade uh, you know if you're looking at it from a performance perspective really and we are coming to the end now just two more oh three t's ahead on this one which uh, is pretty amazing you can see and then the sims uh, 
yeah so that uh, is all of them I'm going to go back now and see how the multitasking is see uh, if there's any difference here 3T does obviously come with 6 gigs of RAM which is a lot in itself and so far there doesn't seem to be a single shred of difference here I mean some people might say well you should have opened a hundred games but you know I think uh, most people at any one time is not doing that and if you are then you should have better things to do so this isn't a reload this is just like a resuming I think the OnePlus 5 does uh, resume things a little bit faster because of the processor but uh, in terms of the performance here you can see 3T is still very beastly I mean just completely no difference whatsoever I think I've gone through them all now uh, so I was actually expecting a bit of a difference there but you can see with 8 games absolutely no difference whatsoever which is fantastic now the thing which isn't fantastic is this so-called jello effect uh, which I have looked back on a few of my older videos on the OnePlus 5 and I do notice it a little bit on mine uh, so if you see here if we scroll it looks like the icons are like jelly a little bit if we log into my social media account uh, you can see uh, if we just uh, do some scrolling here uh, this is what it is now it's not a massive you know huge issue uh, it's the sort of thing that you once you see it you can't unsee it uh, but it is obviously there and you know uh, it is a little bit annoying to have so maybe it's a software issue maybe they'll you know update the phone and fix it but then again some people are saying it could be like a hardware issue uh, you can really see it when you are web browsing you can see that uh, so yeah you know I'm not really 100% sure what I want to do with the phone do I want to return it for exchange it for an, another one or just wait for a software update I'll probably wait for some more you know uh, for, for an official kind of response from OnePlus to see what they have to say about it but it does exist on mine and I'd, I'd say that you should check yours as well to see if it exists on yours uh, in terms of this speed test, you can see the 3T is still very good. You know, I probably wouldn't uh, bother with the 8 gig RAM variant if you are looking to get the OnePlus 5. Just the 6 gigs RAM seems to be pretty uh, decent for Android nowadays. And hopefully tomorrow, I should hopefully be getting the uh, HTC uh, flagship as well in so a lot of people have been asking for that you know I was in two minds about it at first but a lot of people giving good feedback about the phone so might as well get it in and see what it's all about uh, so yeah just a quick little speed comparison here between the OnePlus 5 and the uh, OnePlus 3T hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one